So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at an app. That way when you come onto your Fire Stick, you go ahead and you click the app and you don't have to look at any of these other apps that they're trying to show you on your Fire Stick. You only see the ones that you have. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to get it. We'll open it up. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for dropping on in. I really do appreciate it. Here we are today. We're on the Fire Stick 4K. If you're looking for a new Fire Stick, check out my description down below. Got a couple of links down there for some Amazon products. Go ahead, give it a click. Small commission to me, no extra cost to you. And all this helps out for more videos just like this one and other ones that are up already or looking to be put up. So when you're on the home screen of your Fire Stick 4K, Fire Stick Max, Fire Stick Lite, and you go in to look for a certain app, instead of always scrolling down, or there's another way of doing it, if you hold down the, the home button, yeah, it'll bring it to apps, scroll across, three squares and a plus sign, you go ahead and click on it, then you gotta scroll down through everything that you want, then you find that app and you say, oh yeah, there's the one I want, and you click on it, it's a lot of steps. Today we're gonna make it a little bit more easier. There's an app I'm going to show you, and I want to thank my friends Jeff and Chris for showing me this app. They use it all the time. They like it, and I think I really like it too. It's been working out really great. So I want to share this video with you today, and I think you will like it too. Just leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. I really would appreciate it. So here we go. There's one app that you're really going to need. Everybody probably has it, but if you're new to the channel, a lot of people won't have it. So let me show you what you need to get. Go over to the find, down to search. Go ahead and click on search. Go ahead and click on D. And let's go ahead and click on downloader. Apps and games, go ahead, click on it. It's going to come up and say, download your own it. Go ahead and give that a click. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and click on that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell. This way you know when I put up all the great videos. Go ahead now and click on open. Give it a second to go ahead and open up. Always say allow and then say okay. Now to get this app that my friends told me about, let's go up here into the URL. We're gonna go ahead now and you're gonna type in the following. 218330, then go ahead and click on go. This is going to go ahead and redirect you to the Time for Streaming webpage. I have a couple of different links on here. You could go ahead, see what you like, download them, Everything that's on here is great to use. Always some good stuff, and I keep trying to update it every day. Give it a few seconds to go ahead and redirect itself, and then we'll come right back. Once it's finished redirecting to the Time for Streaming webpage, go over to the top where the three lines are. Go ahead and give it a click, and then say that you want to go ahead and full screen. You also can go ahead and add current page to favorites. This way, whenever you want to come back to the Time for Streaming webpage, go ahead, put it into your favorites, open up Downloader, click on Favorites, and then the Time for Streaming webpage will be right there. I'm going to do that right now also. Let's go ahead now down and then click on Save. Click back onto the three lines, and let's say Full Screen. Once you got the Time for Streaming webpage in full screen, let's go over to the right. Let's go down to where the three lines are. And let's click on the three lines. Give that a second, go over to the left. Let's come down to where it says downloads. Go ahead and click on downloads. Once the page redirects itself to the downloads, then we'll go ahead and get this great app. Here it is, said downloads day or night. It's time for streaming. Let's go ahead now and let's go and get this app. Let's go ahead now and let's scroll down. Here we have some movie downloads. Not a lot in here yet. Like I say, the webpage is still under construction. TV downloads. And then we have app downloads. Right here is where you're gonna find this download that Jeff and Chris told me about. It's called App Starter. Go ahead and click on it. Give it a second to redirect. And here it is. Go ahead now and say install. Once it's done installing, go ahead and click on done, click on delete, click on delete again. This goes ahead and takes it out of your downloader file. Let's go ahead now and click on that home button of your Fire Stick remote. 
let's go over to the right so what we want to do now is just bring this up to the front line well when we open up our fire stick this app's going to be on the front line this way every time you open up your fire stick this app is right there you go ahead and click on it and you're going to see what happens on your remote press the three line button go ahead and say move to front now go ahead and hit the home button on your fire stick remote again whenever you turn on your fire stick you come in here instead of going all the way over to the right and hitting the three squares and a plus sign no just stop right here at that app starter go ahead and click on it and here you go here's all your apps you're probably gonna have a lot more apps in here than i do right now but the one game thing about it is that all your apps will be showing so once you come in here what you do is you just go on over pick one for some faith go ahead and click on it give it a second and it opens up right away let's go ahead and let's go over to the left let's go down to system over here in system you can go ahead and go through it check it all out really not much to do in here in the system area go back over to the left let's go to where it says settings on settings you could go ahead you could put a wallpaper a background image if you have one on your fire stick you could go ahead and select it and then it will change the picture of the app starter icon go ahead down here keep going auto select first icon show system apps you could go ahead and show this click on it and then let me show you what happens go back over to the left go back up to apps click on apps and now here you will see all the system apps on your fire stick you don't need to see this so let's go ahead let's go back over to settings click on settings come on back down scroll down let's go ahead to where it says show system apps and let's uncheck it keep going down hidden apps go to update export import not much more you want to do in here now let's go back up to where it says apps let's go over to the right let's go down to where it says downloader now if you remember in the three boxes and the plus sign you clicked on the remote with the three lines and it said move to front i'll check this out go ahead and click that button again here you can do the same thing you can move it go ahead and we can move it up to first move it over to the right wherever you want to do it click on the enter button and it's sure to stay right there click on the three line button on the remote again and you could go over to app setting go ahead and what this is going to do now is a faster way of clearing your cache and for stopping your application you know how you do it everybody shows you when you're in your fire stick 4k home screen you got to go over to the gear then you got to go down to applications then you got to click on the application this is a much faster way inside app starter so right here you can go ahead for stop and clear cache go ahead and click that home button on your remote I hope you find this video very helpful. Please leave your comments down below again. I really do appreciate it. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.